everyone. My name is Brittany Bittner, and I'm here to educate you um, all about the poaching of elephants and how to stop it. There was once a time when the African elephant roamed almost all of the African continent. It was estimated that around 7 to 10 million elephants existed in the 1930s. Today, that number is at a shocking low of only 400,000 individuals and still declining at a rapid rate. Demand for ivory and severe poaching has led to this dramatic decline in their population. This horrible act of poaching has been a huge problem for decades and is still to this day a very active business industry. These kind, gentle creatures need a savior and the Peace from Poaching organization is just that. So why do we need elephants? A lot of people wonder, you know, what would really happen if they were gone? Well, many people don't understand the vital role that elephants play in the ecosystems of Africa. They are a key factor in maintaining the balance of all, of all other species in the community. They, put, or they pull down trees and break up thorny bushes, which help to create grasslands for other animals to survive. They create salt licks that are uh, rich in nutrients for other animals. They dig water holes uh, in dry riverbeds that other animals can use as a water source. And their large footprints create deep holes in the earth that water can collect in. Other animals, including humans, actually depend on the elephant as well. Elephant manure is actually very important to the environment. Baboons and birds pick through the manure for undigested seeds and nuts, essential nutrients that they would die without. The nutrient-rich manure re uh, replenishes soil so that humans can have fertilized soil to plant their crops in. In many cases, farmers will not be able to grow their crops if the manure, if the manure did not fertilize it beforehand. All of these beneficial things attributed by the elephant would be gone if the elephant went extinct. So what could cause the extinction of the African elephant? Well, that would be ivory poaching. Ivory poaching started in the late 1800s, but didn't truly get out of hand until the 1970s. The African elephant population dropped by 50% from 1.3 million to only 600,000 between the years of 1979 and 1989 due to poaching. About eight elephants an hour, roughly 70,000 a year, were being, uh, were being poached during this period, until the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species created an ivory band in 1989. Over the years, ivory has become more valuable than gold. In fact, ivory is often referred to as white gold, and to this day, is a billion dollar industry. The tusks of one elephant bring in the same amount of money that 12 or more years of farming or herding would. The problem is, is that these local communities, and especially the people who live with the elephants, aren't seeing any of this money. Uh, it's the middlemen and the investors from other places such as China, Singapore, and even right here in the United States who rake in the profits. In Africa, around 100 elephants are being killed every day for their ivory by poison, machine guns, or rocket-propelled grenade launchers fired from the ground or helicopters by these poachers. Poachers will go so far as to poison the water source that numerous animals drink from, not just the elephants. This is obviously causing much more damage to the ecosystems and other animal populations than just the elephants themselves. If the elephants drink the poisoned water, they will obviously die. The poachers will come to harvest the tusks and just simply leave the body there. Then come the vultures who eat the dead carcass, and in return die as well because of the poison that is still left in the elephant's body. Today, China is the leader in the illegal ivory trade. The payoff for smugglers is huge. Over the past year, the black market price of raw ivory has more than tripled in China, from $270 to $900 per pound. Finnish ivory carvings can fetch hundreds of thousands of dollars and intricately designed tusks, or carved tusks can sell for more than a million. It is estimated that between 30,000 and 38,000 African elephants are poached every year for their ivory. There are only between 400,000 and 550,000 of them left in the wild. With that being said, poachers killed about 35,000 of them in 2012 alone. With statistics like these, the African elephant is doomed for extinction in 15 to 20 years if something is not done. And that is where the Peace from Poaching organization comes into play. The Peace from Poaching organization is an elephant sanctuary program in which the founder, Ellie Hamilton, and many volunteers 
build natural sanctuaries for elephants to stay safe from poachers. These sanctuaries consist of all natural habitats using surrounding grasslands and natural resources to create these safe havens. They try to make these sanctuaries as simple as possible, making it as comfortable for the elephants as it would be if they were out in the wild. These sanctuaries are truly a wonderful place for these elephants to live out their peaceful lives. A 20 foot high wall surrounds the 100 square mile sanctuary, which is equivalent to over 48,000 football fields of protected land per sanctuary. Each sanctuary has four checkpoints, one at the north, south, east, and west ends of the sanctuary, in which properly trained guards are stationed. This is because the poachers have been known to raid unprotected sanctuaries before, and the PFP are obviously trying to prevent that. As of now, the PFP has only two sanctuaries in Africa, located in Zambia and Tanzania, which is in the eastern part of Africa. Uh, they are trying to expand the organization to the point where they can have sanctuaries all around the African continent and help as many elephants as they can. Each time the organization receives 10,000 signatures, local governments will help fund uh, the opening of a new sanctuary along with any donations that have been given. It starts with a simple signature, and today I'd like each and every one of you to sign this petition form, symbolizing your effort and kindness in, in helping save the African elephant population. Along with your signature, any donations are greatly appreciated. Donations go directly towards keeping the organization running. For example, repairing any walls that have been damaged or destroyed by the poachers, any medical assistance for the elephants, and who knows, maybe even opening a new one. Do you value an elephant roaming this earth? If you do, it's time to get to work and contribute to the ending of this crisis by signing on the dotted line. Thank you.